Hi, everyone. Kate Byers, founder of Corporate Women Unleashed. Welcome to today's live broadcast. Uh, we're talking about stepping back in your career. Um, and it's summertime now, so this is a pretty common question we get because it's the lazy days of summer. If you're a parent, you've got kids at home. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome if you didn't have to work and you can just be going to the beach or the pool or whatever. And so it, it, it tends to be a time of year where we become very wistful as women um, who are in demanding positions of, and, and maybe even resentful of not being home more often. Um, and if you're like a lot of high achieving women, even though your, your company may have like, you know, Fridays off at two o'clock or some sort of summer flex schedule, we don't always take advantage of that, do we? Mm, because we have the demands of our career and we're driven and we tend to put work first and play second. So should you be stepping back? Is it time to just take a break? You know, what will happen if you do? So one of the things we always advise and we see happen over and over again, and as someone who did step back from my career, I can say with, with absolute confidence, is that when stepping back is an escape versus something that you really want, it generally doesn't work out. Or it just, it, so, so here's why it doesn't work out. Either you know, we're, 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 we're fleeing something we don't want, but then we're going from the frying pan into the fire, right? So if you're fleeing something you don't want, instead of solving that, then you're not really getting what you want. You just have a different situation to deal with that's now stressful or uncomfortable in another way. So for a lot of high achieving women, we become resentful because we feel, or we feel like a failure. We couldn't hack it. We're resentful. Yeah, now we're at home or we're doing some part-time gig or we're just consulting every now and then, but we're watching all of our colleagues, you know, continue to sail up through the ranks of their career or we're watching our husband, you know, or our boyfriend. He's successful in his career and now we have stalled, stalemated or whatever. A lot of resentment. It's not fun to stay home and have more time if you're resentful. That's not what it's about. Now, if stepping back, AKA, is moving you towards something, like, oh, I really wanna step back and just be at home with my kids for a few years, awesome. Like, that's a goal, it's a gift. It's like, you know what, this is, this is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to go do this. Absolutely, women, there is no reason that you cannot stay at home and be a stay-at-home mom for a few years or forever, or whatever it is you wanna do. Like, that's great, that's a decision that you're, you're actually gaining something from that process versus I'm just trying to escape a situation I don't like because I'm burned out, I'm exhausted, I can't bear one more day of meetings, I can't bear one more plane trip, things like that. And what we see a lot, the other, the other thing I want you to know is if you're a high achiever, um, especially, I used to do this, I had this corner office with windows, it was so gorgeous. And, you know, but after time, the, um, the gorgeous office sort of loses its allure, right? And I was looking out the windows over the highway, there's this tollway outside of our, our office building and there's all these cars coming and going. And you know, you watch the rush hour traffic from your window because you're working late and there goes rush hour traffic and you're not in it. And I remember thinking, wow, what do these people do? <laughs> like, do you ever think that like, do you ever like stop at your local bakery and go, wow, I could be a baker. People are bakers. Like for me, I, I was always a really outdoorsy person or wanted to be. And I was like, I mean, there's people who like are river raft guides for a living. That fascinated me. <laughs> like my mouth would just like drool and I'd be like, maybe I could be a river raft guide. How do you do that? How do you own a bakery? Uh, maybe I should just own a shoe shop. And it's so funny because a lot of the women we work with, they're like, okay, maybe I should just, you know, go do this thing. Again, I always say, well, if you have been spending the last few months, weeks, years, driving by different bakeries, Pinteresting different recipes for a bakery, interviewing different bakery owners to see what it's like, I don't know, you know, joining some bakery club, I don't know, I don't know anything about baking um, on that level, uh, you know, practicing different types of baking um, things in your house, maybe you should be a baker because it seems like it's something that's really exciting and fulfilling for you. But if you're sitting in your office like I was, looking out over the traffic going, I wonder if I could be a river raft guide. I wonder if I could be a baker. Again, it's just, it's an escape. And what happens is our subconscious isn't, we're not getting our needs met and our subconscious is suffering because we feel like we're trapped. We feel like we're in a job that doesn't work for us. We're not fulfilled. We're not seeing a way out. And so of course, what your brain is doing is going, well, here's a way out. You could be a baker. Here's a way out. You could be a river raft guide. Here's a way out. You could just like, 
you know, go travel around the U.S. for a couple of years, or you can be a stay-at-home mom. That's not a way out. That's just a way into a different, a different, I guess, I don't want to say a different, a different trap. That, that's what it is. It's a different trap, right? And that's not what we want. We want to solve for the problem. And the other thing we've seen with a lot of women who, who do make that step, so you lose your income, right? Then you lose some ego. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's you know, the resentment or that, that sort of self-doubt kind of comes in. So now we have a lot less willpower, we're a lot grouchier, we're, a lot emo we're, we're e more easily emotional in a new way. And, um, and what happens is, is then instead of like really feeling like fulfilled and excited and this is great, it's like the, the, the shine of this new thing you're trying wears off fairly quickly. And now what happens is it's like, oh my God, I miss my former VIP life. Because at least that angst, I knew what to do with. This angst, I don't know what to do with. I don't know what to deal with. Now I'm not playing up to my full potential. This is not comfort zone for me. And that's why I always say, if you're stepping back to escape, you're not going to live up to your full potential. If you're stepping back, AKA from the corporate world to go be um, a bakery store owner, well, you are stepping up to your full potential just in a new way. It's going to be a new challenge. It's going to be a new type of life. It's going to be new opportunities. That's exciting. That's fun. High achievers like that, right? The other thing we see, oh, this is what I was going to say. The other thing we see is like, if you're just stepping back to sort of like take a break, it usually lasts like a couple weeks. Like when is the last time, honestly, you sat on your couch all day long and you're like, yep, this is good. No big deal. Sat on my couch all day long. Like maybe day one, but by day two or day three, most high achieving women we're like gnawing on our left arm because we're just like, ah, I can't sit here any longer. It's like when you get sick, have you ever been like really sick where the doctor's like, you have to just be in bed? It, it's like, it just kills you. It's like, oh my God, I can't sit still. So again, if you're stepping back to create more time to live your life, what we've seen often, very, very often is that high achieving women, they just fill that time with a bunch of other stuff. You know, I'm going to refinish the kitchen cabinets. I'm going to, um, whatever, become a Pinterest mommy and have a craft ready for my children every day they get home from school. <laughs> it's like, we just fill the craziness up with different craziness. So the goal then is to understand what is it that you really want? Like, forget about stepping back. That's a strategy. What's missing in your life right now? Most women will say like, time, I need more time or I need more control. Okay, got it. So then the question becomes not, should I step back or not? It's what needs to happen so I can have this thing that's missing from my life? Greater work-life balance. Okay, break that down. What does that mean? More time with my children, more presence, um, less stress, not be so distracted, um, uh, time to, you know, you know, focused on my health, my weight, um, time to date, whatever is going on for you. Like, that's what we want to be asking. What needs to happen for me to get that? That's the question, not should I step back or not? Because it's not about stepping back. If you truly want to be a full-time mom, if you truly want to be a part-time mom, if you truly want to be a consultant, if you truly want to own a bakery, that's not stepping back. That's just shifting into something else that you want. That's cool. But if it's an escape, it, it, I, yeah, it just doesn't turn out. We're just, we're just changing one angst, one anxiety for something else. And that's what I found when I stepped back to go live on an island. I mean, how magical is that? Yes, there was some magic there. There's some amazing opportunities. There's amazing adventure, all these different things I could just tell you about, but I cried and cried and cried. <laughs> it was not, it was not the answer. It was different, but I had new anxiety, new stress, um, all of the stuff that was going on. I was still overachieving, but now I was just overachieving on an Island. Okay. It was prettier, <laughs> but I was still driving myself crazy and I was losing income, and I was worried about my career and my reputation, you know, and I had just completely like left the world behind. And while in some ways that was really magical for a while, it didn't solve the problem. You still gotta come back to the real world unless, again, like in my case, if I had just made the decision, I'm gonna go spend the rest of my life living on an island, this is really what I want, then it would have been magical and it would have been great. And I would have adapted to whatever I needed to adapt it to and it would have been awesome. But it wasn't, it was an escape from a problem that I couldn't figure out right? And that's not going to get you to where you want to be. Because at some point you either got to come back and now that problem is going to resurface because you haven't fixed the problem or you're going to live in a feeling of it's a new trap. Now I'm compromising my life in a different way because I'm not getting what I want and that's not going to be successful either. So does that make sense? So I want to share this because again, we get this so much 
um, especially this time of year, because it's sunny, it's beautiful, it's summer, people are vacationing. And then there's this fear of like, oh my God, oh my God, after the vacation, I got to go back to that world. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe it's time to step back. And again, you know, after working with you know, hundreds of executive women, I can promise you that stepping back is, is rarely where it's at, um, at least not to solve the problem. Now, we can do a lot of things for stepping back that will give us a quality of life we want. Again, if you're going towards something, that's great. I don't ever want to send that message that uh, it's all about lean in, lean in, lean in. That's not, that's not what we believe. It's about what is it that I really need? What's the problem I'm trying to solve? And is that really going to solve it? Or is that just an escape? So I hope that helps you. Um, again, my name is Kate Byers, founder of Corporate Women Unleashed. Thank you for being here on today's um, live broadcast. If you have any questions, just stick them in the comments below. Even if you're watching this um, after it's been posted, we always sort of observe those things and, and we look for that. I also encourage you to watch some of our other trainings. We, um, we have a free training, it's a masterclass that we offer that shows you exactly the four steps that we teach over and over again to women that lay a new foundation. If you operate in your career following these four steps, life is free, life is golden, life is flexible, it's incredible. So I encourage you, if you haven't seen it already, to watch that. Um, and if you're a high achieving woman who is struggling with your career, it's, you're always putting work first, get it. And it's time, um, it's time to level up and have a new life of freedom. And so you can start enjoying your private life. Um, book a call with our team. One of our execs will jump on a phone with you. We'll kind of explore what's going on, seeing if, um, get you some clarity on like what the problems are, what you want, what's possible, and we'll get you a game plan. That's what we do on the call. So it's super simple, easy peasy. Again, I'm Kate. It's been great talking to you and we'll see you on the next broadcast. Bye.